Don't forget to have your say at altalk.co.uk after the match. Hi guys and welcome to the Derby County Sheffield Wednesday review. Now this will be a very interesting game for Wednesday because Derby are not in great form. We're on the back of two wins. Could we make it uh, three wins on the trot? Now we don't do well at Derby at times and that's going to be a bit of a shame and we're going to have to really work on that tonight and see if we can get uh, a good result. And it will be a tough test for us because they will put up a fight and a challenge. So it'll be interesting to see how we do in this game tonight. The team news is Dawson, Fox, Rhodes, Fletcher, Harris, Bannon, Lees, Reach, Adebayo, Hutchinson, Iortha. Subs are Jones, Lee, Pelopethi, Boren, Murphy, Newshu and Longo. Great to see that uh, Jordan has got a start. He deserved it. He played absolutely superb in that game at the weekend against Brentford when he came on at half-time. Did everything right. And maybe, just maybe, we might start seeing the best out of Jordan Rhodes. Uh, even if it might come too, too little, too late in the sense of... How long we've had him in a sense. But Fletcher's on great form. So it'll be good to see how Fletcher does tonight as well. With uh, trying to get more goals. He's been superb and late. So hopefully he can get all. Help us get all three points tonight. But it will be a tough test against Derby. If we win tonight we could potentially go third. Uh, like I said in many a time. We need to get as many points as humanly possible. Just in case this. If this impending uh, point deduction does come, that we're ready for it. But let's see what we can do and hopefully we can get all three points away against Derby. What a half for Wednesday that have been. We played some fantastic football for 15 minutes and we've already had six or seven corners and we just couldn't take our chances from those corners which is really frustrating it would have been really nice if we could have taken our chances from those corners and this is the issue we've got we get all these corners but we don't do enough from them and that needs to change but we play some fantastic football there's only one team in this at the moment and that is Sheffield Wednesday uh, Derby look lost they don't look like they're bothered there's no energy they look really out of source and uh great for us and we've got to exploit this we've got to try and get the next goal as well uh we do go one nil up it's a awful bit of play by derby at the back bannon really quick thinking picks up on it plays it to fletcher fletcher first time shot low and hard to the corner great goal and considering he went off injured just before that because he rolled his ankle of some sort uh, great goal to get but they had had chances but nothing really clear cut and Dawson managed to be able to save most of them we had a scary moment in in the first half right near the end with Hutchinson going down injured uh, but he seemed to be fine but Rhodes have done really well. You can, all you keep seeing is Rhodes and Fletcher working the Derby uh, ball back into their own half, pressurising the players, making sure they're making a mistake. Rhodes has had some really good chances, little flick-ons and little half things. Harris have been great down the wing. Reach have been good. and It's just been an altogether good display. Tough wood, so far we are playing really well. We can keep at this tempo and try and get more. The big thing we're going to want to do in this uh, second half is try and get the next goal and try and get as many as possible because Derby are here for the taking. They do not look good at all. But in saying that, Derby at the um, second half could come out with a firework up the backside because they've been bollocked by the manager and then we got to really really keep on with it uh, we're very good at getting leads we're just not very good at holding on to them at the moment so if we can get a win tonight it would be fantastic and a great kind of thing to build up for the weekend game against Forest at the moment we are currently sitting in third place. So let's see how we do. And hopefully, finger crossed, we can get these three points. But I'd love some more goals in the second half. But that was a fantastic first half for Wednesday. Let's try and keep it up. Well, 
that was typical Wednesday doing a Wednesday, really. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. It's a royal pain in the arse. Uh, like I said in the first half bit of the review, they came out of it a lot better. They looked a better team. They were going forward better. And we didn't look that great going forward at the time. We lost something. We thought it was... We eased up a bit. We had a couple of chances, but nothing properly clear-cut. And you go back to that first half where we've had like six corners in 15 minutes and we haven't taken a single chance on that. That needs to be where we get our things. If we take the chances from those corners from a club that's in 16th place, we could be a couple of goals up at before half time. But we don't. We don't. Uh, and Derby made it a very scrappy game which didn't play into our hands really and we started getting silly bookings and yellow cards and they got a penalty, Mojas Adebayo, it was a half penalty on him to be honest with you, it was a kind of thing, when you look at it back, Marriott got his arm underneath and pulls him over him to make it look like he pulled him down and gives the penalty and of course he slotters at home. Uh, Adebayo though also at the same time was on a very, very, very thin ice due to him already having a booking. Hutch gets a silly booking um right in in after the penalty. That's the ten yellow cards he will now miss the uh Nottingham Forest and Bristol City game. Then Moses Hazardbio gets himself sent off on the 90th minute and it was dumb, but it was a wonder he had to make it in one sense. If he didn't make that kind of challenge, it would have had the man going forward. But at the same time, it's starting to show he's a little bit of a liability, which is not good. This is like, he'd been in for a couple of games and he's not looked great. He, he got a fault in him. He got a, he got a fault in him. That's too red cards this season for us and we're normally very good at having good discipline and stuff and that's not good uh when new hugh came on new hugh picked up a yellow card he's now on i think i think it was either three or four yellow cards now if he picks up another no he's on four i think if new hugh picks up a yellow card he'll get a suspension we've got a lot of players on this little tightrope now of cards and if they pick them up we're going to be in trouble because it's getting to that busy period and we could have a situation where we don't have the players for it because of players picking up too many silly bookings and we let Derby back in that last bit of the game they were piled on all the pressure corner to corner they couldn't make it count but we let them back in and that's on us that is on us and we're really good at getting a lead, but we're not good at killing games off. We cannot kill games off to save our life. We are so poor at it and it's just so frustrating when you can see of creating the chances and not taking them. Having so many corners and not being good corners, they really poor corners and no one's attacking them or we're not getting to them or the corners are just dreadful. The same with free kicks. We need a we need more creative outlets in that side in that side in that way as well. The, very poor for us to have it where it's another chance where we could have go into that top little section into third, and any time we get that chance to go either into a little bit of a comfort zone in the playoffs or just in the playoff, we always mess it up every single time, and it's just getting so frustrating. It really is. You can't seem to figure out at time what how we're going to do it. Monk's tactics in that game, he went way too defensive with the substitutions. Way too early. He went defensive way too early. He shut up shot way too early. And we can't... We're not a team that shuts up shot well. We are not a team that has that in our locker. For him to make those substitutions so early that he did, it was the wrong time. It was the wrong time for that. I would have taken... Long go off. I would have seen if we had someone we could put on for Moses Adebayo because he was starting to look like he had a um, um, another card in him, and it just poor tactics on that one, and it just really frustrating. So 
We had the opportunity to go with a three game winning streak against uh, Nottingham Forest we now don't it's now going to be two wins it's now going to be two wins one draw we seem to be good at this at the minute draws are something we tend to get a lot of when we're in Leeds uh, so we're just going to have to go from there it's bad for us and we just got to take this one work on how we lost this and how we can get better and try and move on to the next game but it's a massive kick in the teeth for Wednesday and a real pain in the backside so like and subscribe for the to the video uh the game on saturday may be a little bit late uh got things going on during the day so we'll see what happens but my god being a wednesday fan is never easy hi guys this video is brought to you by outtalk.co.uk for your post pre-match and sheffield wednesday discussions with fellow wednesday